Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating our new platform Export Kit Lightning Storm for the Adobe Creative Cloud. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do off the bat is basically demonstrate a few of the differences between our CS6 and our CC version. Now, you'll note that this is CS6 that we're actually using for this demonstration, and this is because our Lightning Store platform is backwards compatible, so it will work with both CS6 and CC. Now, you'll note that we also have to log in uh, with the Lightning Storm platform. This is a new feature, so you won't really have to worry about basically installing keys on various machines. You can just log into the machine that you choose to use. Now, you'll see that the Lightning Storm is slightly larger, and there's a particular reason for this. This version of Export Kit, we can actually support more software uh, than actually Photoshop on its own. So we're going to be porting this to Illustrator and InDesign, as well as others, uh, if we can basically map to it. Now, what this will do is it will allow us for different options because each platform is different. So we're not sure exactly what we're going to add. So we're just basically creating space for it. We will include a slim version um, just in case you don't want to use so much space because um, we understand it is slightly larger. Now, you'll see that with our original layers view, and if you're familiar with our CS5, um, just as a note, uh, our CS5 layout is very similar to our CC layout. So you'll see that we do maintain the same look and feel for the actual layer view, um, and everything does work perfectly. So if we were to select, um, let's say our process, this is layer effects. So in our original view, if we were to look at this in CSS, this is what we would get. And in our new CC platform, this is what we get with CSS. Now, you can also tell that there are are a few things that we have to clean up on. For instance, the left position is calculated slightly deeper than what we have in our older CS6 version. And we actually like this calculation better. So there's a couple of things that we have to just remap on, but basically everything does work. Um, what we're going to do is still release it for the beta, but we are going to make changes during the beta. So you can take a look at our images panel. You can see again, it does have the same look and feel. We have some extra space, so we're going to add a few more options options the images uh, just to basically fill the gap if we take a look at our guides uh, this is also again the same look and feel just slightly larger uh, for the reason that we're porting to different platforms now if we go to tools you'll see that our UI elements is not included there are a couple of features that we've uh, disabled and I'll explain these in the video also simply because they work differently in CC so we're gonna rebuild them so that they're backwards compatible so UI elements will come in the future uh, but tags uh, layer tags and the actual tag naming that's perfectly fine now in exports you can see again this view is complete also uh, we've remapped the options so if you're familiar with our CS5 layout, this is exactly the same as our CS5 layout. Uh, we're going to add a few more tabs, uh, basically simply to give you more features. Now, what I'm going to do is demonstrate the speed and accuracy of our current CC platform. So you can see that everything does work the same. Uh, so let's give this relative position and layer effects. And let's go. Now, once the export is complete, um, just like our older application, we can actually take a look at the output right away. And if we navigate to our output folder, you'll see that this is the file we just created. You can see that it actually renders perfectly from Photoshop to HTML. Now, there are a few slight remaps that we have to do on our end, again, simply because we do want to clean up a few of the calculations. We've noted that some calculations are not the same as they were with our CS6 platform. Uh, just to basically explain a couple more things with Lightning Storm, although this does look like a skeleton view because the view itself, it's very basic, uh, the color scheme. The reason is you can actually skin this version, so you can turn this into whatever you want to turn it into. We can open the door for you with features and options now when it comes to CC uh, with our new platform. So this is just a quick demonstration to show you how it works. Export Kit Lightning Storm for the Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, we're probably going to do another demo video to show you in CC. There's literally no difference. It looks the exact same. but. You know, some users actually want to see how does it work in CC. So this is just a preview export get lightning storm.